a very good morning and welcome back on board uh, the tumble home we are up and dressed we had an interesting shower experience didn't we uh, i'm not gonna say it was interesting i'm clean let's put it that way so yeah very tight space and uh trigger shower and uh, low water pressure so always makes for an interesting experience so we are about to just get the boat ready to go and our plan is to make our way over to the south broads today which means going past great yarmouth no stopping for the slot machines there and then uh, across braden water which is a, a stretch of open water before you reach the south broads some low bridges on the way so we'll have to prep the boat ready for that um and we'll get underway uh, first of all we've got to get the dogs off they need uh, to have their break and i need to do some engine checks as per the checklist so uh, let's see what happens so the engine check is quite straightforward. It's under this. So all I need to do is just check the filters. So I'll uh, try and show you that. Right, so I just need to check the weed filters. So I just take out the cap. Where a bit of water comes out. Nice and clean. And then the same on the other side. Again, nice and clean. It's good. And that's the engine check done. Well, that was a challenge. We just tried taking on water. Um, when we got there, some people were parked in there. They were just sat there chilling. Uh, so we had to moor and then ask them to move and then moor again. Um, but we were literally mooring against the tide. So um, it was insane. We got there, um, just gonna make some breakfast now. Um, and then we're gonna cross Braden Water. So, um, Oh, it's hard work. Lexi is chilling outside with Lee, and um, we're loving boat life. For anybody that knows me very well, I have very little concentration. Um, and Lee's there, me captain our ship today. And um, it's, it's exhausting mentally, it's taking out. Oh, I am about to hit a swan, so I'm going to concentrate. Okay, so here we are, we've arrived in Great Yarmouth. We're about to go past the yacht station. We've got a low bridge and then we'll be on the south boards once we've crossed Braden Water. So let's see how it goes. Look at that concentration on his face going through the bridge. Well, we did it, we made it. We are now crossing over onto Braden Water. Uh, Lee did amazing. I'm gonna let him concentrate for a minute because you have to stay in the markers. Um, but he's doing fantastic, so proud of him. So this is Braden Water. It will take us about 20 minutes to cross it. So where we hired our boat from, they actually said that someone got stuck on the mud plains behind us. Um, and they had to be rescued, so you have to make sure that you stay between the green lines. 
So here we are, our first mooring of the day, and we're at Burr Castle. So uh, now's a good opportunity to get the dogs off, have a little walk around, and I think we'll do a spot of lunch. So we've been motoring for just over two hours, I think. So we'll um, spend an hour or two here, I think, and then we'll um, carry on around. And it was a successful mooring, wasn't it? Very successful mooring. I think we've cracked that. So um, helps that there's no wind and the water's calm, I guess. But um, yeah, we're uh, getting the hang of it. So we've stepped off the boat and we've taken a short walk to Burr Castle. So I think this was a, a former Roman fort and was a castle during the Norman the Conqueror times. Um, so yeah, just having a look around. Um, it's definitely a doer upper. Um, the accommodation's not the best. What do you reckon? Perfect. So after a lovely lazy stop at uh, Burr Castle, we ended up being there for just under three hours in the end. Um, we're off motoring again, so we're just going to do a loop from Burr Castle down towards St Olives and then up the new cut and round to Burnie Arms Mill, which I think is where we'll probably moor for the night. And the plan is to moor up and have maybe one drink, maybe two, maybe three. Um, but the sun is absolutely glorious and we're having the time of our lives. Very relaxed, chilled out, we're getting the hang of it I think. Um, definitely the slowest bloke on the boards at the moment. Um, and I've had the driving position stolen from me. We're doing a difficult turn. So we've just come out from here, and now we're just going to turn into here. We have a train to the left, and we are going to go down this little new cut. That was a pretty impressive corner, my darling. Did you enjoy that? That was good, yeah. Was that fun? That was fun. <laughs> enjoyed that. So, we've just moored up. I think this is probably one of the prettiest moorings that we've had. Uh, took us a couple of attempts to get into the mooring. Uh, the wind was really strong, uh, but Lee stayed calm and we did it. So I'm about to cook some dinner and Lee is chilling with the dogs outside, uh, having a nice scrumpy. I will show you where we are moored for the night. So this is out the back door. There's Lee, Bella, Lexi. And then we've got a water pump. What do you think of this one? It's in, isn't it? It's in. It's a bit more tidal than the last one, but yeah, we got there. So Sarah's dished up dinner. Didn't set the fire alarms off once. But um, here we go. It's a chorizo and pasta dish with uh, some rum and ginger ale. So what more could you want? Oh, I know. Garlic bread. So... Here is where Tumble Home is moored for the night. We're joined by one other. And then this is how close we are to the water mill. Beautiful. The girls are ready to go for a walk. Just waiting for Lee. So we've just come back from our lovely walk out with the dogs and I'm not sure if you can see our mooring has changed significantly uh, because the tide rises and falls here. At the moment it's fell about, is it about a metre? It's gone down about a metre, yeah. So I don't quite know how I'm going to get onto the boat. What does Lexi? <laughs> Lexi's also very scared. So um, 
I'm gonna give it a go. That is um, a significant difference. I don't know how we're gonna get the dogs on. You would've got more viewers if you'd have fallen in. I did fall down that little bank. If you turn it around, you can show everyone where I, I fell on the bank. I didn't laugh. Right, let's get these dogs in. Maybe let's put the camera down. Okay, so this is the dinette made up into the, the double bed. So this is the bed all made up, as you can see. Small, but fits Lee and I, which is great. So we are off to bed. We will catch you guys in the morning.